Soon Kim. I was born in South Korea. I lived in Japan for the next three years of my life and then moved back to South Korea for about four more years and I came to Houston, Texas when I was about nine years old. Went to elementary school there, went to middle school, went to high school in the same neighborhood. And then after that, I decided to come to the University of Texas to study chemical engineering. And that's what I'm doing right now. I guess about two weeks before freshman orientation, I was just on the UTexas webpage. I was going through, finding things out about University of Texas, and I found out that there's this thing called Texas 4000, and it was on YouTube. And I watched the 2008 summer tribute video, and it was set to one of my favorite songs by The Killers. So I thought, this might be interesting. So I came to orientation, I saw a flyer, and then I was kind of hesitant to apply because it was a whole summer and you're biking to Alaska and I'd never really biked before. And then I moved into my dorm and Erin Scott was my RA and she is a 2011 Sierra rider. So there I knew that I was going to be doing Texas 4000 and I applied that following year. So I guess the spring of 2008 my uncle and his family moved into my house and I know that he had had a, a previous battle with cancer that was a little bit shorter but this was his uh, I guess it was his final go and he moved in with us and he was staying with us and getting treated at MD Anderson and on April 13th uh, 2008 my uncle passed away and I ride in his memory and he was so influential to me in those two months that he lived here. I've known him my whole life, but in those two months that I lived with him and to watch him fight the fight, it, um, it, shaped, it shaped how I view the world. And it's why I ride every day. It's why I get up every day. Honestly, the level of commitment that comes with the organization was initially tough. I have a pretty, pretty rough schedule and Fitting Texas 4000 in is, is, is a little bit rough. It's, I get a little less sleep than I would like to, and I get a lot less homework done than I would like to sometimes. But what's really tough is when I go on a ride and we do a ride dedication, when you hear a story, um, you have to kind of digest it. And you have to move on with the fact that this has already happened and so many people were influenced by cancer. And every step of the way, there's a cancer story waiting for you. So time passes pretty quickly when you're doing T4K stuff, but the being able to digest so much, so much sorrow in a way, but then being able to conjure up the hope that you need to influence others with is, is a challenge for me, but I get by, so. What am I most excited about? Uh, let's see, I know we get to pass by Stephen Prefontaine's um, birthplace and his death place. I'm um, pretty excited about Oregon, pretty excited about San Francisco. I think my parents might come up and meet us. Um, I'm not that excited about getting to Alaska as people might think. I'm excited about the 69 days that I spend getting to Alaska. Um, I'm pretty excited about the view, the weather, getting out of Texas for the summer, being on my bike. And I'm just kind of, I'm glad that we get kind of get to be disconnected for a summer, right? I mean, you don't have to check your email every day. You don't have to, you know, do schoolwork or work, or you just get up, bike, and you spend the whole summer for other people. And I think that's the part I'm most excited about, the fact that I get to dedicate my summer to someone else instead of to myself. I think it's a selfless act that I'll, I'll carry with the rest of my life. 